Once your tax firm has delivered out your tax return, you will receive an email message from noreply at safesendreturns.com. In that email message, you will see a link at the very bottom to access your return. Once you've clicked on that link, you will see this folder in the middle, and you can click anywhere on that folder to get started. The first thing you'll be asked is to type in the last or first four digits of your social security number. Once you click continue, you'll be prompted to request an access code, which will send a one-time code to your email address or mobile device. And that code will be good for 20 minutes. Once that code has been entered, you can click continue and you'll now see the main landing page of your return. On the left will be a summary of any refunds, overpayments applied, and payments due, along with estimated payment information. Click here to begin. The very first thing you'll see when you start the process is a message from your tax firm. Once you click continue, if your firm has included an invoice with this return, you'll be able to review that invoice now. And you're able to either download this invoice or if your firm has a payment portal, you're able to pay that later. So you can click continue at the bottom right, which will move you into reviewing your documents. You'll be able to look through any filing instructions, your tax return, or any attachments your firm might have included with this return for download. If at any time you would like to forward any of those documents on to another recipient, you can click that forward a copy of my tax documents button, enter the recipient information here, and select which documents you would like to forward on to that party. And then you can click email tax documents. Once you've reviewed those documents, you can click continue, where you're either able to e-sign your e-file authorizations or select to manually sign those e-file authorizations. Selecting e-sign, you'll very first be able to enter in your date of birth and then check this box saying that you've reviewed your tax return and consent to e-sign. If this is a joint return, you'll see your spouse's name listed below and a field for your spouse's email address. Make sure you've entered the correct email address for your spouse because after you've e-signed these e-file authorizations, your spouse will get the opportunity to e-sign those documents. Clicking continue will generate knowledge-based authentication questions to verify your identity before you can e-sign. Once you've passed, you can begin the e-signing process by clicking that start arrow at the top, which will move you down to each signature field. You can click in that signature box, see your signature is already generated here, or you could draw that signature in and click apply. And then click next to move down to the next signature field. As you're signing these documents, your progress is tracked on the left. And once you've completed signing, you can click the continue button at the bottom right. One last chance to verify your spouse's email address. And you can click continue on to move on to the last section, which is making any payments in the system. So on the left, you'll see any payments you might need to make with the due date, authority, amount, and this pay button to either download that voucher and pay by check or money order, or if present, a pay online button, which will go directly to that authority's payment website. You'll be able to download all of your vouchers or the filing instructions from here. And at the top, you're able to set up a policy for when email reminders will be sent before any of those payment due dates. So you're reminded to make those payments. If your firm has included an invoice with this return, it will appear at the bottom left here, and you're able to click pay, either download that invoice, or if this pay online option is present, you can pay electronically. Once you've finished with the process, you can select done, and you're able to view or download any of your documents and always go back in the system to make any payments.